The main idea is to build a city that would be good in the future to preserve natural resources and basically just be good all around for the environment. 16 students from Gates Intermediate School in Situate know more about nanotechnology and municipality planning than most people would expect from an 8th grader. They learned about the technology in order to plan the water filtration system for their city of the future, Terra de Aqua. The clean water concept won them first prize at the National Engineers Week competition on January 19th at Northeastern University, along with a trip for five to Washington, D.C., where they will compete in the national competition. All right, this is a model of our city, Terra de Aqua. Um, as you can see here, there we have the houses which harness the power of the sun through nanotechnology. And um, underground here we have an underground view of our pipe system. This is the subway. Um, these are various pipes. These two tubes right here. Um, the blue one is our clean water, while the green one is um, the water that comes from our re reservoir as shown here. Cool. This orb, which both cleans the water and heats it and pumps it to the houses for clean heating and free heat for the, all of the citizens. A uh, model of the piping systems that we have in Terra de Aqua. Okay. And what we did during our presentation is we released um, ammonia into the pipe and it created a magenta fuchsia like color. And when we turned on the generator, and added vinegar, it, uh, all the pink went away and it represented what, how we clean our pipes. Mm. One of the interesting things, our topic for the assay was nanotechnology and I really knew nothing about that before this, but now I know a lot, like the inside and outs of nanotechnology and it's really interesting actually. Can you give us a short layman's term lesson on what it is? Basically like we used a lot of nanites, which are nano machines, which okay. would be like a robot that would be sh shrunk down to nano scale, which is incredibly small. And wow. those those nanites just help cl cleanse our water. I get a call from the regional coordinator that's involved throughout New, e New England trying okay. to put engineer mentors together with um, together with, with a school that's involved. Oh, right. And okay. you must have been involved at the time, Adam. And uh, she found the firm here in Situate and uh, yeah. worked out great having had kids that went through Gates School. Yeah. Happy to, happy to get, yeah, every time we get together I'm impressed yeah. because they're, it's a talented group. They're very, uh, very energetic and yeah. uh, with the idea with it, the future city concept, yeah. um, no, there's no holds barred. You know, it's, it's just open to the imagination yeah. and that's what they're looking for and they certainly certainly show, show that. Last year I loved being a presenter. It was just so much fun and also I learned so much about engineering and I never really knew much about engineering before yeah. last year and I just wanted to learn more. Think you'd consider engineering as a career or? Um, I considered it for a while. I think it would just be something fun to know how to do. Oh. When I was little I kind of wanted to be an architect. Now I want to be an architectural engineer. The students hope to raise enough money for all of them to travel to the competition in D.C. in February. For more information, see the story in Saturday's Patriot Ledger.